what are we doing tonight? We're looking at mono white ginger tonight. This uh, this is a deck I think is supposed to exist. <laughs> you know, it's one of those. <laughs> Who knows? I guess we'll find out tonight. I have played games with this deck today um, because yet again, I didn't play like any magic at all for like uh, about three weeks or something, <laughs> something like that. Uh, I've just been playing Moonstone Island. Shout out to Moonstone Island. Play that game again. <laughs> just keep talking about it everywhere. But uh, I haven't been playing Magic, especially not ranked. I've been playing Brawl and stuff when I do play Magic, so that's been fun. But I my rank is, is once again tanked, so we're, we're, down, we're down there again. So I played some games today to kind of bring my rank up, but it's still very embarrassing. So we're going to try to get more games in tonight and bring that thing up to a still not very respectable rank here with Mono White Ginger. Um, which is what I was playing these games with earlier. A lot of success with this thing. We'll see if it continues having that success tonight or if it just poops its pants. <laughs> you know how the, that's the rules of the stream. But I do have some confidence in this pile here. You know, Sir Ginger, one of the only new cards in this deck, but I'm pretty excited to play it. You know, it's two mana for a 3 1 legendary food night when it has trample, hexproof, haste as long as they have a planeswalker. Uh, and whenever another artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, it gets a plus one, plus one counter, Sir Ginger. And of course, it has the food text. Uh, you can tap it, pay two, tap it, sack it, gain life equal to its power in this case. So, mostly what we care about on this, it turns out, is the ability to grow when all of our other dudes die in combat or to removal spells and stuff like that. Sometimes Sir Ginger gets to like five, six power, and it's actually not like super hard to make that happen. And we can give it flying with our Steel Seraph and get in for damage. We've got Patchwork Automaton in here with all of our artifacts. We've only got one non-artifact, non-land card in the entire deck. That's Michiko's Reign of Truth, and it's just a three of. So that leaves, don't make me do the math, so many artifacts in the deck. That just about everything will trigger Patchwork Automaton, and just about everything will make Michiko's Reign of Truth give a bigger bonus. So we can do stuff like, you know, Sir Ginger, Michiko's Reign of Truth, put a bunch of, you know, power on it, and then make it fly or give it lifelink with Steel Seraph, and those are hot plays, dude. So good stuff we can do with this deck, but we've also got Ginger Brood in here. It's right, we're reuniting. They're, they're together again. They're getting married, Ginger, <laughs> Ginger Brood and Sir Ginger in the same deck, and I kind of like that, if nothing else, but Ginger Brood can also get the Michiko's Reign, you know, bonus, and then get in if they don't have anything with haste, uh, more or less guaranteed, so that's pretty sexy, our almost entire deck, no, our entire deck is immune to go for the throat, that's probably going to matter a good bit, uh, Skrelv can help us against other removal spells that can hit us. That's cool. Swooping Lookout, also a good candidate for the Michiko's Reign of Truth boost because it's, you know, Vigilance flying, gets through for a bunch of damage. Yoshin Frontliner, nice little extra piece of damage here too. So Annex Sentry, a removal spell. Glass Casket, a removal spell. Both of them are artifacts. So, I mean, pretty straight up and down deck. I think we only went with like 22 lands. Yeah, in this thing which I think is okay. <laughs> we'll see if there should be a 23rd, but I've been getting by with it all day. We've got Mishra's Foundry in here too. It's an artifact. Mirex to make artifacts and kind of get us through the late game when there's sweepers. So, you know, just a lot of the stuff that you're used to, but I'm a little surprised I haven't seen anybody play this deck this season. Honestly, but again, I think I've, I think that was a speed run for explaining a deck here on the channel. Usually it takes forever. What was it, like four minutes? I think we nailed it, so... Let's just take it into the arena, close the gates, and see if we can fight the lions off with it. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Opponent goes first against Mind Aid Ender. <laughs> it's not Mind Bender. That's not what that says. All right, Tranquil Cove. Uh oh. <laughs> That's <laughs> not an ideal turn one play. Skrelv would have been sweet to go first here and make sure we get the Sir Ginger down, but... Oh, oh, they Tranquil Cove turn two. That's good. That's good news. So let's Ginger. They can do something. Next. Just end the turn. Coming in with a Skrelv anytime soon. Frontliner next turn. Or I guess we could Sentry something if we had to. Doesn't look like we're going to have to. Nope. Land. Fourth land, finally. I don't know that we've actually gotten our fourth land yet. Not going to give us a whole lot to target here, are they? Nineteen. <laughs> huh. High life total for... Given the fact they're about to play their fourth land. Tranquil Cove's all right, I guess. <laughs> Quick study? Nice. 
sort of budget <laughs> blue-white control here. Can we beat blue-white control? Is that going to be... Is that a possibility? What do we do against depopulate here? Just die? <laughs> Just die against it. Unless we have frontliner. I don't know. It's something. Be cool if Ginger had vigilance or didn't have to tap to sacrifice. But, I mean, it's an awesome card regardless. Opponent ropes. On turn four. Fading hope, huh? Okay. Let's try to protection from blue it. See what happens. Now what? Are you gonna kill Skrelf? You do it. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Mindbender. I know that's what you want to be called. I'll call you what you'd like to be called. You just do whatever it is you're gonna do. Okay, so they march the Sir Ginger. Alright. What did you exile? Elspeth Smite. Huh. Could just. Alright. Now all of our cards suck. So our opponent, <laughs> opponent did the right thing there, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming in with both. I'm gonna get some Toxic on you. Don't you have another Smite? Oh my god, they do have another Smite. Wow. Okay, so let's play another Skrull. They're tapped out. In the turn. My goodness. This one's gonna be a slog. Actually, I don't know that it will be. It'll probably be like two more turns and we'll just like stop playing this game. Fifth land, why? We do not need that fifth land. Wandering? Oh, they don't have Wandering Emperor. They just don't have that. So, <laughs> I'm coming, man. I'm coming in. What are you going to do now? Nothing? Alright, they go to 15, they get a Toxic. Land drop. <laughs> just going just gonna to Annex Sentry? It's got Toxic. Like, I, Screw it. <laughs> Gets over, make disappear, you know? I, Give me a boy on the board. No, they dissipated. They also want to play spells. It's a boring game for them, too. Even control players think control is boring. Alright, they got their fourth land drop. Now we gotta worry. We got our sixth. <laughs> the 22 land deck. It is a Mistress Foundry, though. That's good. <laughs> uh, now they have Emperor. One of those cards is the Wandering Emperor. Like, come on. Skrull gets plus one plus one for no apparent reason. They go to 14. And, uh... It's painful. <laughs> Fifth land drop, okay. Still got four lands over there. We get a... Ooh, a playable card. Alright, let's activate the foundry. Let's pull up with just these two boys. What you got, Mindbender? Four cards over there. Five mana. Your entire deck is instant speed. What's happening? Nothing. They're just gonna smack him in the mouth. They go to ten. And we're gonna try and steal Seraph over here. Over here. Are we gonna do it? Yeah. Let's go for it. Counter it. That's why you built the deck. You counter spells. Yeah, oh, oh, it's one of these. <laughs> it's that kind of party. They devious cover up. Okay, so you don't have win conditions. You just have like devious cover up plus uh, the other one, witness the future probably. Just put stuff back into your deck. Because you're, you're a real cool dude. <laughs> It goes rain, man. Counter it. <laughs> yeah, dissipate. All right. You're at ten. I mean, you're at ten. <laughs> Three mana open here. Well, let's just deal our four. I mean, if we did five, I will say this: if we did five, that would be much better because we put them on a two-turn clock. Ah, 
I don't know, man. Like, all you gotta do is find Depopulate. But they haven't done it yet, so. Oh, another Foundry. My love. My love. My darling. Do you guys think Skrull was winning us this game? I bet it is. Just by sitting there. Boys. On the attack. What you got? Are you gonna do so you get frustrated and just try something? Try the old one two where like you do something now, so I have to tap my scroll, and that means you can do something on your turn or whatever. Nope, I'm just gonna take it. They go to two with two Mistress Foundry on the table. Hole breaker. Hole breaker. One card left, they'll have two when they start their turn. Okay. Here come the beans. Here come all the big boy beans, brother. What you gonna do? Pass turn. Sw My turn. Okay. Aw, oh, Ginger Brute, you're sexy right now. You are sexy. Sequencing! Alright, um... So we Ginger. And we can do everything else we want to do in response, so... Whatever. He's on the table, bud. That boy? He's on the dang old table. Swing it. Swung it. They're gonna get game us? What does that mean? <laughs> we come in with everything, don't we? No. No, we don't. Pull the scroll back. Gingy gets the bonus. Can't deal with all of it, can you, partner? Can you, partner? I don't know, maybe they can, we'll see. We have scroll over here. We pay the life, whatever. It's like I could have just used Skrelv to get in, but they would have a response for that, right? So. Okay, Elspeth Smite. Targeting Brute. Good 18. We give the Foundry Pro white. Did I click white or did I click blue? Which one did I click? I meant to click white. Which one did I click? Oh no. Which one did I click? <laughs> Destroy evil. Last card in their hand. They return the whole breaker to hand. Oh, I hadn't chosen yet. 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 They, I believe, missed the sequencing there, perhaps. Jeez Louise. All right. We go first. Lexaeum is our opponent. This is a fine hand. This is all right. Go frontliner, turn one. Sega. Let's see what they're running with. Tapped. Oh, God. Zyator's proving ground, so maybe some sort of ramp deck. Automaton. Bang in. 19, Sega. Laxium untapped green sources turn. Herd migration. Are we going to confirm? Will we confirm or deny what's going on here? Steel Seraph comes down. Patchy gets plus one plus one. We're going to target a creature we control. I guess let's make it the patchwork automaton. Let's give him lifelink over here. Let's go ahead and pound on in. Give him plus one plus one. Bing bong. 15 to 23. Things are starting out looking good, but that doesn't mean jack. Poop. Here comes a blue source. Topiary Stomper. Everything is confirmed, I believe, now. Land drop. The ocean Frontliner. Pretty sick, actually. You can't do nothing yet, so we probably shouldn't even play Glass Casket. You can Sunfall next turn. You can Sunfall next turn, so maybe we shouldn't play all of the men in our hand, right? 
You're gonna have it too. You're gonna have that. It's gonna suck. It's gonna suck, dude. <laughs> Sunfall's gonna suck. So let's blast casket. I'll I'll do it this way. Take out the stomps. Frontliner. I'm gonna keep this brute in our hand. Or we should have given the life linker a bonus. They go to six. If they have Sunfall, they probably win. Fingers crossed. If you had it, you'd have cast it, right? If you had it, you'd have just like snapped it down, windmill slammed it. It's gonna be multiple ley lines. I've only got one white mana, so you'd have to do both of them this turn, because you only have one turn with the Mirix. Archangel! So you, it is, you do only have two white mana for this one turn. The Ocean Frontliner. Okay, that's what they take out there. Ginger Brute. God, we can't glass casket you. Mana value three or less, not power. Not power. Frontliner comes down. Ginger Brute can't be blocked, sure. Guess we'll go flying. I feel like I've made the wrong choice there. Um, swing everybody in. Plus one, plus one to the Seraph, definitely. Do I want to give it to the Ginger Brute? It's like the same as giving it to the Automaton, but but better in, in a lot of ways. See what they do. You have to block. I think they go to three here, if, I, if my math is right. Yeah. Three and the turn ends. Well... Uh, I really, I still don't love our chances. They can attract so this turn. That's good news. They don't have multiple white men in this turn either, so yeah, you're done. Okay, woo! Woo! All right, we did it. Jeez, <laughs> macaroni and cheese, man. That's <laughs> your games keep like being close. Jeez, man. All right, let's see what's going on with Blaze Seven Seventy Seven. We go first. We got drops. That's cool. Let's make this. Let's make it work. If we get a third land. We can still serve. If we don't, who cares? We still do other stuff. Ginger Brute. Okay. Plains Ginger Brute. Nice. They decided they can't stop us. They're just going to stack us up against ourselves. That is their only, only choice. Pop in. Put the drop kick for just one. Okay, green-white, so... Are you the food deck? Are you the Selesnia food deck? I'm going to play like Tough Cookie this turn. Huh? Well, welcome to Sweet Teeth. You are the Selesnia food deck. They are who we thought they were. Let's... Planes. It's not right to steal Seraph yet. Well, you know, potentially. It is potentially. Swooping Lookout. Let's go. <laughs> Swooping Lookout. Suit up. Boot up. Their boot holes. Let's... Let's just swing with all of the boys. Are all of the boys ready to swing? Except for maybe Ginge. Yeah. Yeah. Just these two guys. Just these boys here, they go to 14, they just take it. Food tote. Third land, brush land. Playing cards. Come on, Blaze. Tough cookie, or you called that. Food token. Mm-hmm. Audacity on the brood, sick. All right, they pop in. Put us at 17, I don't care. We draw a land, we really we draw a land there? Okay, that's fine, we can use it. Still Seraph. Drop him as a three. You can't be blocked except by creatures with haste. You make the patchwork automaton fly. And let's just hit him in the mouth and put him at four. All right, cool. Cool. Maybe uh, do something about this. 
They're going to put two plus one plus one counters on Brute, perhaps? Yeah. Oh, no. They put, it's an 8-6 now. How is, it a, how is it a Toyota Corolla from Initial D? It's an 8-6. What, did I misread this card? Put X plus one plus one is a, where X is the number of food you control. Put, oh, because you guys are foods, too. You're a food. You're a food. Still got um, too many counters, though. I still feel like I got far too many counters. <laughs> All right. You have life link or anything? No, just trample ice. No blocks. Ouch. Anything I've reached? Nope. Okay. Automaton, you're dead. All right. Good, good game though, Blaze. It's a good game. I like the race. It's good to race sometimes, you know. We're out of cards in our hand and stuff. Feel good. <laughs> Opponent goes first against Guild Mage here. Curve looks fine. We gotta get some action going. We've lost a couple in a row, and we were doing really well. It's because I talked that crap. I was like, oh, we've only lost one game, and I lost count of how many we played. It was a good guess, good guess, good deck. <laughs> Apparently not a great deck. Uh, let's... <sighs> Condition to scroll, turn one. But I actually think it's Swooping Lookout. Because they're not going to be able to do anything about our two-drop anytime soon anyway. So I think we're doing it right. By just cutting off their one drop from attacking. Plaza of Heroes, huh? Alia. Okay. Annoying, but not too bad. Drop of planes. Patches. Swing. Why not? First blood. Jean Claude Van Damme. Oh, legends. They are playing Plaza of Heroes. But is it Legends? Yeah, it's just soldiers in which they play Plaza of Heroes. So counter goes on Frontliner. Here they come. Five. God, we got 15. Ouch. Mirex, third land is okay. Don't worry about Brutal Cathar. That we do. I have a plan, though. I don't know if it's a good plan, but I have a plan. Uh, Skrelv. Frontliner. Genji. Swing with the big boys. Well, the 4-4 and the 1-2, Flying Vigilance. They go to 14. Let's see how things play out here. Yoshin Frontliner for the opponent. They're not... Doesn't look like they're going to Cathar us or anything this turn. Frontliner number 2. Yikes. Recruitment Officer. They're down to one card. Siege Veteran puts counter on... Thalia. Coming in with the boys. Okay, so what do we go down to here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight is what we're taking. So we go to seven. None blocks. None of them. Trust me. Let's steal Seraph. Okay. Patchy. Lifelink. I don't love that. I really don't. Block with the frontliner. Now 13 12. They'll get their 1 1. Should have gone with flying. I just should have gone with flying. I just should have. 13 12 11 10 9 8. Think it would be 8. Michiko's rain probably just kills them. I just, I should have done it. I should have just done it. Maybe I should have just done it. Brutal Cathar! They have it. Huh. To what? Seraph, okay. 
Hexproof from white. Counter goes on. Here come the boys. Let's wait for the boosts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen damage. All right. Let's try it like this. But one land. It's not great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve, thirteen. We win. We win. Cool. So Apache, throw the land down. Can't be blocked, because why not? Patchwork flies. Bang, bang. Bang with the boys. They're going to say good game. My goodness, my, 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 music hits you so hard. Make you say, oh my lord. Guild Mage, good game, dude. Woo, 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 woo. I don't know why it seemed like so difficult for me to get through that. I just, <laughs> sometimes you got to go to one and strike back. It's easy as that. But I make it seem a lot harder than it actually is. So good game. <laughs> Opponent goes first, and I guess this is fine. This looks okay. Don't like that they go first. Oh my god, Island. Oh my god, Delver. Oh no. Oh, it's just going to be our night. We, I, we've been beating them though, so I guess we're due for... You know. <laughs> losing a game or two here or there to this deck. Ginger Brew coming in. You going to trade? You going to trade? You going to trade? You're not going to trade. You're not, you're, come on. Come on. You're not going to trade this. Just let it through. Yeah, thanks. 19. Flip it over. Flip her over. Flip her over. Come on. Come on, yeah, there you go. And they got fading hope. Pfft. How do we how do we win this game? <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll be okay. It's gonna be all right. How do we do it? How do we do it? There's a way. Michiko's is good. Automaton. Yep. Yep. Oh my god, it's on the table. Oh my god, it's on the table. Swing with Ginger Brute. <laughs> Just play the whole game as Batman. <laughs> Batman would play Ginger Brute, right? Let's impulse, okay. Decide they don't mind taking one damage this turn. That's wise. Insectile Aberration. Otawara, the Soaring City. They attack with the flipped over Delver. We got a 14. Uh, three open mana. <sighs> okay, so we're going to lose this one. Let's try and glass casket. Glass casket. <laughs> Frontliner. Swooping lookout. Swooping lookout. That's fine. That's a good card. That's good. Bait it? Yeah, they're gonna flip the switch. Neat, neat counter spell you got there. That's cool. We can glass casket the Delver. Gotcha. All right, so spank him with the three three and the one one. Sure. You can't block. Fourteen up. All right. We're back in things. Consider. Island in the yard. Take it all the way, Exocry. Be the first mono blue deck to take the crown against us tonight. Can you do it? Can you do it? Past turn, all right. Probably not time for the Michiko's reign yet.
Let's just, just put it all down, you know? I mean, <laughs> why not? Ginger Brute 1, Yoshin Frontliner. I think I should have played you first. But I can unearth you if they counter you. That might be cool. Got a 5-5 five, five Automaton. They're just going to Fading Hope it. They're just going to do that, so. But that'll take all of your mana. They can't wait. They cannot wait to Fading Hope it. <laughs> Alright, brother. Sister. Exo Cry. Yeah, use it all. Use it all. Yep. There it is. There she is. Goes back in my hand. Don't care too much. Three cards left over there. Let's see how they use their scry. Go bottom. I feel like everyone tops their fading hook all night. Yep, one to the top. All night. Get him with the three ginger brutes. That's pretty cool. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Delver of Secrets. Okay. Good card. Card could help them win this eventual race, but still nothing, you know, like no real juice, and that's good. I think we just try to sentry it. I think we do. It's down. That boy is down. Okay. What now? Slip out the back, Jack. Okay. Pop on in. Do a bunch of damage. They go to six. It's lethal on board. They draw a flip the switch. That's good to know. Flip their Delver. And... What else? Pass turn? Yeah, okay. So don't feel like you're going to resolve anything this turn. Yep. They're on a three turn clock or two turn clock right now. So first ginger brute. You're going to let me, you let me do it. What can you do? Fading hope. Something's in their hand. Something is in their hand. Is it right to just come with everything? Sure. Oh, maybe I should have done that with the Annex Sentry so it can swing again next turn. Maybe I should have given the bonus to that because now Aberration can block it and kill it. All right, let's see what's in their hand, because it's something, you know. Got to play somewhere. Okay, they go to one. They go to one. Thirst for discovery to find answers. Gotta kill all of our ginger brutes or something, right? So. I don't have to cast another spell this turn, or this game. I don't think. You have to cast the spells. Something Mono Blue doesn't really like to do. Onus is on you, kid. Alright, still into two. I'm gonna have four cards in their hand when they, when they go here. But they are now roping. And I'm not really sure why they would be doing that. At all. Are you exo crying right now? Actually, <laughs> I hope not. This has been a good game, all total. Yeah. Okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> I mean, it was a. It was a good game. It was a good game. <laughs>